Sagittarius. I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for May 2015. This month I laid out the Rainbow Tarot spread for you and pulled an additional card from Doreen Virtue's Healing with the Angels Oracle Cards. If you'd like to learn more about me or to schedule a private reading with me, please visit my website theluckymermaid.com. If you have an upcoming reading with me, please make sure your phone number is up to date. Please make note that I live on the East Coast of the United States in New Jersey, so please check a time zone converter if you do not live in East Coast time or if you live outside the United States because I do want to reach you when I try to call you. Please make sure you make your payments at the time you schedule your reading because I have to go through the appointments and cancel any that are unpaid and open them up to clients waiting on the wait list. So please make sure to do that. Thank you. Now that that business is taken care of, on to your reading, Sagittarius, for May 2015. You have some good cards here, Sagittarius. I'm happy for you about that. The first card you have in the beginning of your reading is the sun. And the sun to me is a card that symbolizes returning to the joys and exuberance of childhood. This can also indicate success in the material world, but it's basically a, a happiness and joyful card. I feel there's going to be a great deal of spontaneity happening with you right now. I feel many of you are going through this sense of feeling renewed and a new sense of purpose. I do feel that some of you want to really be recognized and seen and heard and that you're going to be doing things that really bring you a lot of joy and make you feel good. Many of you are going to be going through a period of time where you're starting something new. I pick up a new job. Some of you are going to be starting a new relationship. Some of you are starting a new career or a new business or even starting up a new home or new family. I do feel many of you are going to be enlisting the help of others on any new plans and projects that you're going to try to get off the ground here. I hear let the good times roll, Sagittarius. You're getting ready to hit it big. And um, I really see like they're talking about the gravy train is going to come rolling in. So uh, I feel some of you are getting ready to like have some kind of breakthrough. Not only do I pick up new things of all kinds across the board for you, but there's also breakthroughs that I feel are going to actually bring you abundance of either joy and happiness or of finances. It actually comes up, I see a breakthrough with money coming at you. So that's good news, Sagittarius. I'm happy for you. We all could use a nice boost to our income. So that's a happy day. I do feel many of you are gonna be feeling like you're getting a new lease on life and really starting over. Now, some of you Sagittarians might feel like, what's she talking about? That's not happening to me. Well, if it's not happening to you right now, uh, as I've explained in the other videos, and I'm going to say it here to you as well, all Sagittarians are not born on the same day, at the same time, in the same month, in the same year. So even though I do believe this is actually true for all Sagittarians, what I'm picking up, your time frame is going to have an arc of varied time because of that factor that you're not all born on the same day and same time, etc. So just know if you don't feel like this is happening to you yet, it's on your near horizon. But for many of you, this newness is really happening now in this month of May and especially going forward in the next like three to four months time frame. From now, I feel that's the most activated time for you to have this feeling. I hear many of you are going to be receiving some kind of grant, stipend, or loan coming from somewhere. And this is going to help you get something started that you wanted to get started. For some of you, it's a new business. For some of you, it's business expansion. 
For some of you, it could be to raise your home or to tear down a home and build a new one that's gotten ruined by some natural catastrophe of some sort. And I do get, I feel that you're going to feel really eager to please right now, but I also get it coming up like you're going to really want people to notice you. That's come up quite a bit. So I get like this, look at me, look at me kind of <laughs> feeling, not in a bad way, in, in a good way, kind of like in a childhood way. I really do feel this card is really explaining it. When I look at this card, I feel like that matches what I'm hearing for you, Sagittarius, so... Just know that it's always good when the cards coordinate with what my spirit guides are telling me. Now, the next card you have in this reading, it, this could be you. You have the Queen of Rods. This could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries, Sun sign, Rising sign, or Moon sign. And this very well could be you, Sagittarius. And if you're a male Sagittarius listening, it doesn't matter. You could be just showing up through the queen. So don't worry if that seems like it's only for females. This could be you too as well, any males out there. Now, the queen of rods is somebody that's usually very fair and just, uh, especially in business, in a business sense. I feel that she can be very motivated to make things happen in a business sense or uh, just anything that she's driven about, even if it's a charity and, and not a money-making venture. Uh, she cares, usually cares deeply about animals, has a real sensitivity in caring for animals, and they also love her. She is someone that can be a very good communicator um, and can be very clear in her communications. She, If she's operating from the negative side of the queen of rods she could also be prone to anger angry outbursts verbal anger and jealousy for you i'm going to say females good but it could it could go either way um somebody's going to want to come in and sweep you off your feet and marry you or propose to you or start a very serious serious long-term relationship with you uh, that comes up first and foremost here with this card, which I would not have thought that looking at it, but that's what I'm hearing. There's going to be a great deal of sexual chemistry and tension flowing between you and someone else, whoever this interested party is in you. I do see you actually getting very serious with this person and spending a lot of time talking about and planning the future together. So. Uh, if you're a single Sagittarius, male or female, doesn't matter which, you could be ready to have this uh, love of your life or a fascinating new partner come in for you right now or soon because this is a May reading and they're not really talking about too much far ahead here. I pick up, it could have started in April for some of you. I hear April, May, June. It could even go further out in time than that, but those are the highlighted times I'm hearing. So look for that to be coming up for you. If you're already married or seriously coupled with someone, Sagittarius, I get something is ready to seriously happen in your family to change family dynamics. That's if you're already coupled with someone. For some of you, uh, you are going to be experiencing somebody that left the situation is returning home. So if there was any falling outs with any siblings or family members that took off, whether angrily or not, maybe they just had to move to another country or another state, uh, depending on where you live, uh, for work or for a period of time, and I get they're going to return. Um, for some of you, even in a romantic sense, if you had a loved one that you parted ways with that was romantic and you broke up for whatever the multitude of reasons that could have been, they could be returning into this picture for you too because it's somebody that there was something happened and they had to leave or they chose to leave and now they're coming back in. And however this is going to play out, your family dynamics are going to get changed. Some of you may be experiencing the birth of a child, or if you have a, 
uh, sister or brother that's expecting a child, or if you're a going to be a grandparent, your children might be having children because family dynamics are changing if you're already coupled. So um, it you've got big change here happening whether you're partnered with somebody or you're not. Either way, with Sagittarius, this is coming up. And that was you that showed up here in this reading. Whether you be male or female, you showed up here. Now, crowning your reading uh, in the uh, May 2015 reading, Sagittarius, you have the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords to me is a card that symbolizes moving. Usually moving, moving your home or moving to a new location. Secondly, I would read this as travel. It could also be if you were in a situation that wasn't feeling particularly good for you and you want to move away from the situation, but that's very third on my list here. First and foremost, it's moving. I feel some of you may have an opportunity to buy a new home or to sell a home. Also, possibly buying a home as an investment to rent it out and make some additional income from it because that also comes up here. Maybe some of you are going to buy a vacation home and in a, uh, you know, at the mountains near a lake or, uh, you know, at the shore somewhere by the ocean. It, it just depends on which Sagittarius you are, what you're going to do here. But it's before it comes up as moving to me. It comes up as buying a place to lease or rent to someone and make money off of it or um, to sell a home. You could be moving, though. It could be that because it really comes up here to me as a strong opportunity for an investment. That's how it's coming up the strongest. To me, it's an opportunity for an investment, first and foremost. And even if you're going to move into a home, that is still an investment, you know, right? You're building equity in a home. So that is an investment either way. But it comes up as an investment and you buying a home, um, that comes up very strongly. You could be getting in an, involved in a partnership arrangement or a deal if you don't have the finances enough on your own to invest in this yourself or buy this yourself. I feel that um, many of you are going to be it, coupling up in partnership with someone to do this. That doesn't really sound to me like in a romantic sense. That was coming to me more in a monetary, hey, let's go on in on this you know, opportunity kind of uh, partnership here. So the next card you have in your reading today, Sagittarius, for this May 2015 with the Lucky Mermaid, you have the Hierophant. And the Hierophant to me is a card that symbolizes God. This is like God showing up here in your reading. It could be a religious figure like a priest or a holy man, a shaman, whatever you want to say. But first and foremost to me, it's that, uh, like God coming up, showing you blessings and a cautionary card of a warning. And this can also indicate higher education or higher learning. I feel there's going to be some Sagittarius out there that are going to be writing or presenting a screenplay to an Actors Guild. That's what I'm hearing. Or something. Those words are joined together there. Screenplay, presenting it, and I'm hearing Actors Guild. They were all kind of separate there. So there's some Sagittarius out there that's getting ready to be very successful in the either theater or film industry and in the entertainment industry in some way. But it came up as a screenplay, so that's really a movie. There's going to be someone who's going to talk to you that's going to want to pilot your series. So if it's not a screenplay for a movie, you could have somebody want to do some kind of pilot. I don't know if they do pilots for movies. I don't think they do such a thing. So. Uh, it just depends on who you are. It's also coming up here as do a pilot for your series. So if the movie deal doesn't work out, maybe it's going to be a series instead. So that's something interesting there.
you're going to get a great deal and a spellbinding contract. Now I'm going to address this again because there's one of my guides that loves the phrase a spellbinding contract. There's a couple phrases they like to use repeatedly and one of my guides likes that phrase. To me, let me clear this up because people do ask me what I mean by that. Spellbinding to me means it's amazingly good. You're going to be in awe of how good it is and um, really have a lot of great attributes to the contract. So just know it means it's in a positive sense. Like this is going to be something dreams are made of or something you would always wish to have. To me, that's what a spellbinding contract is. I do get people are going to want to be talking to you about planning a project together. So if you're not the uh, Sagittarians out there in the entertainment world that that made sense to, I'm also picking it up in other senses. So it's not just that, but people are going to want to come in. Someone's going to want to come in and do start some project or plan with you. That's what's coming up. And I feel that many of you are going to be leading the way uh, like a shining star or taking charge also comes up here. I do feel that some of you Sagittarians are going to be invited to a gala ball or some kind of gala event comes up here. Like this is um, lots of important people there and very charged. And if you're in the uh, theater world or in the literary world, because I'm getting that kind of literary theatrical charge to it. So for some of you, it still is going back to that kind of world, that kind of career world. Um, it doesn't matter. If it does not fit, you would be in that situation. I still get many of you Sagittarians are going to be invited to some type of ball or like gala event comes up here. And I feel at the end of April, you may have signed an agreement to purchase a home, signed a contract, or signed some kind of agreement for something pending. Now, I am recording this the second to last week of April, and I do feel for many of you, it's happening in the time frame I'm reading you now. But it could really be about May also, because this is a May reading, and they're not really projecting out far away from now. So I feel like it's in the end of April or in the beginning of May, this paper or document or contractual agreement to purchase a home or buy something was signed. That's that's something that's coming up here with the Hierophant. Now, for the outcome of the tarot portion of your reading for May 2015, Sagittarius, you have the Strength card. And the Strength card to me is a card that symbolizes having to have courage, over adversity and accessing your inner strength and inner power. It's also a card to me that symbolizes um, having spiritual power over the material world. I do feel that you've been given a lot to think about and you are doing a lot of mulling things over and planning your next steps like reorganizing and structuring and planning and mapping things out all comes up here with this card. I hear things are really getting ready to burst forward and be budding and blooming for you Sagittarius and uh, I'm hearing the words a trifecta. So I feel that means for them to say that three major things are happening for you in a good way. This could be new job, birth of a child, um, getting married. It could be buying a home, starting a new business, old lover returns. It could be any one of these three things, any, any three things that would be a trifecta for you. But I do get that and I get it strongly for this month of May. Um, and they are showing me clearly leaves blooming, uh, flowers coming out and being in bloom when this is going on. So it's definitely in the May, June. It's definitely a springtime happening. 
Some of you are going to strike a new deal. An opportunity to strike a new deal is coming up. And you may be working from or moving to a different time zone because that is coming up here. So let's say if you live on the east coast of the United States, you might get a job opportunity to go to L.A. and you're going to be on the west coast. Or, you know, if you're in Texas, you may get an opportunity to uh, start something or be involved in some project in New York City. That's still a different time zone. So uh, just uh, something you have to think about. But I do see that coming up for some of you Sagittarians. And that's good news. I'm happy for you Sagittarians. Kudos to you. You have struggled a lot. I know many of the months I thought, you know, scratch my head about Sagittarius, but some months have been stellar. I know a lot of times you Sagittarians didn't agree with the months I was picking up great things for you guys, but uh, I certainly picked up some difficulties on some months. So I also want to recommend to you here, if you're watching uh, one of your videos for the month of May or whatever, and you're saying, hmm, well, that month's not making much sense to me, but other months have, then I seriously encourage you to watch your rising sign videos. So let's say you're a Sagittarius with a Libra rising. Well, if Sagittarius video is not making sense to you this month, then watch Libra because maybe your messages are really going to come to you in Libra or maybe your moon is in Pisces. Then watch the Pisces video. I would never have recommended that before. Initially, when I started out doing the readings a year ago on YouTube, but to listen to all the emails and comments, I've come to find out over and over again that rising signs and even moon signs can really be giving you answers on months that your sun sign doesn't make sense. So make sure you find out your ascendant, your rising sign, and your moon sign, and go check those out too, because I'd like you to get as much information as you can as possible to help you, Sagittarius. So that concludes the tarot portion of the reading. And now on to your uh, conclusion, which is with the Doreen Virtues, Healing with the Angels, Oracle Cards, you got the card of listening, Sagittarius. For this month of May, you got listening. There's a new time frame about to evolve and develop in front of you. I'm seeing a world changing. I'm seeing your world spinning to a new angle. Like the planet is now going to be in a different alignment for you in some way that's going to be bringing in all kinds of change, forward movement, new opportunities, better times. Um, it's just, and they're showing me a planet moving. I hear you deserve a great pat on the back uh, or a pat on the shoulder because you really have gone through a serious, serious dealing with karma. Uh, many of you Sagittarians came here with some serious things you had to tackle. And I feel that many of you have now crossed through your karmic tests and are now going to start to exit them. And I don't know that I've ever picked that up quite so much for a particular sign. I've picked that up for people, but I'm picking it up for your sign in general, Sagittarius. So uh, hopefully that's going to make sense to you out there. I do feel many of you are, are being given the opportunity to be part of something that's bigger than yourself. This could be in a spiritual sense, or it could be in a practical, actual, you know, earthly sense. You're going to be getting the opportunities to be doing bigger and better things. And for any of you that felt like your career or life was stuck or at a standstill, I do feel there's now going to be some really good opportunities and change. You're Comes also up. going to be making headway with people you haven't been able to make headway with before. So if you've had a boss or an employer that's been a real stickler and you couldn't get, you know, mobility at your job to uh, get a raise or 
climb up the ladder. I get that now you're going to be making headway with them. If you've had a daughter or a son or some other family member that you've locked horns with or there's been like a battle of wills between the two of you, I feel that that's going to ease up and be erased and lifted and that's going to move forward for you. Um, if you've been stuck with a relationship that isn't going anywhere or you're wondering why are we not like crossing over the line to the next stage of the relationship and you've made no headway with that I feel that is going to open up and move forward for you now so I see many openings for Sagittarius I feel like you had a really good outlook for this month of May uh, don't get discouraged if you don't see all these things happening for you right now Sagittarius I do feel it's coming it just depends on when you were born and how the timing is going to affect you but I do feel it's on your horizon if it's not on top of you right now so I want to say thank you so much for watching sharing and liking my videos thank you for subscribing thank you for Google plusing I do appreciate that if you'd like to learn more about me or schedule a private reading with me, please visit my website, theluckymermaid.com. If you uh, have a pending reading with me, please update your phone number. Please know I'm on the East Coast of the United States. So when you booked your appointment, it was for East Coast time. So check a time zone converter and please make your payments for your readings when you book them. Otherwise, I have to cancel them and I really don't want to cancel anybody's appointment. So please make sure you pay. Thank you for that. I do appreciate it. I hope you have a beautiful month of May, Sagittarius, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.